guys welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share just a little doodling around negative space swirly kind of nail art so I was looking at some polishes that I had on my work desk and I saw that there were a lot of different blue tones and some of you have actually requested me to do some blue kind of nail arts or nail polish of the week swatches and I was like let's just do something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and that is doing one of those swirl kind of negative space nail arts but then with blue tones because I haven't seen many of those in blue yet and I'm just really feeling like using some blue polishes today so yeah let's just stop the rambling and get into this little tutorial and just nail art design of course let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube but thank you guys so much for watching on forehand I love you so so much and I hope to see you in my next video as well so let's get into this tutorial as I mentioned I just grabbed a couple of blue polishes and just started working on my nails of course I have also applied a base coat on forehand and underneath it all I have a thin layer of gel base and gel top coat just to strengthen my nails a little bit more during my manual job and it's also pretty helpful if I want to switch up my manicure a ton of times during my recording sessions so yeah I just grabbed three blue gorgeous colors these are all by H&M I got turquoise tonic which is a beautiful beautiful light turquoise kind of color I'd say the second one is just like paradise it is more of like a sky blue kind of color and then from the ASAP quick dry collection which I love I love that collection this one is called you blew it this is one of those beautiful darker like primary blue kind of tones I'd say so I just want to grab one of my little resin plates and I am going to work in between two different brushes I do feel like I used most of all the um, first one with the longer bristles because I feel like a striping brush like that like a medium sized striping brush works wonders for a swirly kind of negative space design that we'll be doing today then I'm just going to play some of the darkest blue color onto my resin plate or palette however you want to call it you can use a little bit of like a plastic bag or maybe even some aluminum foil if you don't have a little palette like that there are tons of household items that you can use to actually create some really cool nail art with or just to use as your little color palette so yeah I'm just loading up my brush I'm pretty much just rolling the brush into the polish so so that the bristles are pretty much saturated with this polish um, this darkest blue color is actually a little less opaque than the other two blue colors that I'm using today so you might want to go over some specific spots or streaks a little more often of course make sure to not overwork it because if you push down too hard on the brush you might accidentally pick up some color like off of the nail again you will see that happening a couple of times but no worries just take your time be patient with yourself that is really important as well especially if you're just starting out doing nail art or just playing around with it like me and also you know I've been doing this for such a long time I still make mistakes and making mistakes is human and totally fine you can learn from them and at the end of the day if you don't like your manicure or you just want to switch it up you can easily remove it with a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover whatever has your personal preference and yeah that is pretty much it so for this swirly kind of design I'm just going with a very organic like swirl or wave however you want to call it you can just add as much or as little of that first streak or swirl as you like to there are no rules to nail art I mentioned this so often in my videos but it definitely is true 
you don't need like super long nails or longer nails like i have here myself you can do this on shorter nails as well this type of design is like i see it popping up everywhere for the last couple of months and i was like i really need to try it because usually i don't do hand painted designs that often mostly because i just get the shakes a lot and pretty bad as well i get the shakes when my blood sugar is high i get the shakes when it's low i get the shakes if i drank too much caffeine or coffee or anything like that and yeah i just have a little bit of like a higher blood pressure as it is so yeah the tendency of getting the shakes is a little higher for me personally but i know that there are a lot of others out there who have the same issues and definitely don't worry don't be too hard on yourself we all get the shakes every now and then and just practice be patient and i'm sure you will get the hang of it and of course, if you do feel like, oh, my blood sugar is a little bit too high or maybe a bit too low, just wait for a little bit. Maybe drink something with sugar if your blood pressure is really low or your sugar levels are low. You can easily fix that and just take your time, you know, no pressure no hurry uh, doing nail art is something that's supposed to be fun and a creative outlet or at least for me personally it is like that and i really love to hear your thoughts on that in the comment section down below as well and of course grab your nail supplies and paint your nails together with me while watching this video or any other of my videos because i would also love to hear what you are wearing on your nails right now or what supplies you are applying at the moment but yeah for the second color of course just dunk some of the polish onto the plate or anything that you're using as your plate and of course make sure to clean off your brush in between using the different colors or maybe grab another brush if you have a couple of different ones maybe you don't have a brush like this no worries there are a ton of household items that you can actually use for this you could use a ball and needle you could use something as simple as a toothpick or anything that is quite similar in shape to those it definitely doesn't have to cost a fortune to do nail art especially if you're just doing it for fun like i'm usually just doing because i really didn't have a plan on forehand what i wanted to do the only thing i knew is that i wanted to use some blue colors and do kind of like a swirly design so every single nail is completely unique and different as well and that for me at least is the fun of it and just to see what comes up and it will be the end result while you are just letting your creative flow just winging it you know but yeah do wait a couple of minutes in between going like to other colors here i'm already going to uh, apply the third color which is the lightest shade and of course you can just apply as much or as little as you want to i just decided to start with the lighter color opposite from the middle color that i had just applied of course i did this to all five nails <laughs> i uh, also recorded every single nail but i felt like this shouldn't be a super long video and i just cut it down and just showed you a couple of nails but of course the end result will be shown in this video as well not only with a glossy finish and a glossy top coat application but i was also really curious to see what this design looked like if it had a matte finish and i've had so many questions of you guys and requests and all that jazz if i wanted to do some more matte designs or matte nail arts or just matte nail polish finishes on in videos so i just decided that after applying the glossy top coat which i will do in a little bit i just decided to grab my favorite matte top coat by holotaco and just to show you what this design looks like with a matte finish personally i am digging the glossy finish for this particular design but you know you can always just try it and see what you like best maybe you like the matte finish best definitely let me know in the comment section down below after you've seen both end results but of course before you're going in with your um, top coat no matter what kind of finish top coat you're going to use make sure that your nail polish colors are completely dry like just wait for like 15 minutes 
to be sure, especially if you've used super pigmented polishes, maybe you've used some stamping polishes for this, those will work wonderful as well since those are already really pigmented and you might even get away with just one like swoop across the nail instead of going over some patchy spots you know but yeah just make sure it is fully dry before you're going in with your top coat and yeah i'm just going to show you the glossy finish first and i'm going to use my favorite h&m top coat for that this one is actually from the quick dry collection as well the ASAP quick dry collection this has a super glossy finish and I am really really loving the formula of this one because it isn't super thin or watery it's more of like a thicker consistency and it gives a beautiful gel like finish but then you're only using regular nail polishes which is something that I love because I love the switch of my manicures a lot and of course doing youtube videos i have to switch them up a lot because i post three videos a week and i can't be sitting down and just filing off and soaking off my gel polish like three sometimes even maybe four times a week nobody's got time for that you know <laughs> or at least i personally don't because i still have like um, a full-time job next to this as well even though this is my own business too so yeah not everyone has a lot of time so i love to share designs with the regular nail polishes because not only is it easier to just get rid of if you're tired of it or you want to switch it up it is more affordable and it is sometimes easier to work with as well but of course if you want to recreate this design not just with regular polishes but maybe you are more into the gel polishes definitely do so because this design is actually pretty easy to do with gel polishes as well i feel like if you have a super steady hand it is actually easier to do this design with gel polishes because the cleanup is easier without messing up your base coat layer that you have already applied so yeah that's just what i wanted to mention you can do this with regular polishes but also with gel i just prefer sharing it with regular polishes because you know they're just way easier to use in daily life you know but yeah i'm going in with the holotaco matte top coat as i mentioned i just showed you the end result with the glossy finish but yeah it's totally up to you how you want to finish this manicure off one thing that i would highly recommend to do if you're going to use a matte top coat just apply a glossy top coat first make sure that's fully dry and then go in with your matte top coat i've had some issues with previous like different brand top coats which were matte and they just didn't really give me that fully matte or satiny matte effect that i wanted and applying a regular like glossy top coat underneath first really helped me out with that so that is also what i did right here of course do wait a couple of minutes before your top coat is completely dry before going in with the matte top coat but yeah i don't know let me know what you think about these different finishes and the design on its own i'm really curious to hear what you guys think maybe you have already done a design like this as well but personally i just really really love the glossy finish but the fun thing is with matte top coats once you've applied them you can actually see them dry and getting matte in real life which is so cool i just love to see the design like totally switching into something different uh, the same goes for thermal polishes as well. I think those look so, so cool. So yeah, let me know what you think about these. And yeah, I would really love to hear if you've done this design with maybe some other colors as well. Or maybe you want to see me do some other like similar designs like these with other colors. Definitely let me know your requests or anything like that down below as well. And of course, if you have any questions or other comments you would like me to read and reply to, also leave that in the comment section underneath this video as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. I love you so, so much. And I hope to see you in my next video as well.